Okay, so I have an observation that I want to talk about for a second to the people who have either done Weight Watchers in the past or who are doing Weight Watchers now. Um, in my experience with Weight Watchers, um, all of my um, all of my leaders have been overweight still, and um, all of my receptionists as, as well, which I do not get. I mean, I know in Weight Watchers you can set your own goal, but it doesn't make a lot of sense to me. I mean, I wanna I wanna look up to my leader as a person who has had an amazing weight loss and. While 40 pounds, 60 pounds is nothing to sneeze at, obviously, um, I don't, I don't know if, if you've lost 40 to 60 pounds and you're still overweight, why aren't you, why haven't you gone farther? Why, why are you a leader? And in Weight Watchers, you have to be close to your goal to be a receptionist and at goal to be a leader. And if you gain weight, they have to take you to classes, and um, if you continue gaining weight, then they say sorry to you, I guess, and fire you. But I don't get it. Like, you guys out there, in your experience, have you, have you experienced the same thing? I don't know. I just think it's kind of weird, especially because, like, I have now lost more weight than any of my leaders have ever lost, and I think it's weird. Of course, I had a lot more to lose in the beginning, and I still have a lot more to lose. I have 82 pounds more to lose, um, but I still find it strange that there are so many overweight employees and Weight Watchers. I don't know. Just something strange to me. Uh, Anyway, so now that I've rambled about that for two, over two minutes, uh, it was pouring today as I was walking to my Weight Watchers meeting, and then there were like four people there, and when I weighed in, I was wet, my hair was wet, my clothes were wet, and uh, my keys were still on my pants because I forgot about them, so I'm hoping that my weight loss has something to do with that because I only lost 3.2 for two weeks and it's kind of ridiculous to me I'm, and I'm disappointed and I'm gonna put that out there because I pretty much burn between 1200 to 1800 calories a day exercising I exercise a lot and the exercises that I do are very strenuous so yeah I am annoyed. So I guess maybe it is the amount of calories that I'm eating and I should raise it. So I guess I will try that this week. But if I don't lose at least three pounds next week, I will be quite pissed. So anyway, I'm now... 192 point something, I think 192.4. So that now makes me the lightest I've ever been in my adult life. And um, I'm frustrated at this moment because of the amount of work that I'm putting into this weight loss. But when I think in terms of perspective, when I started, 256.4 pounds, I had the classification super morbidly obese. Super. Great, I was like a fat superhero, right? <laughs> um, that's ridiculous. That's like those shows you see on TV with the people who can barely walk. and. Now when I look back on how I used to be, you never really realize how bad you were until you change your life. And I could barely even walk at that point. 
and I was getting sick five, six times a year. And, you know, having a BMI of 48 really does take its toll on you. So anyway, I had a lot of skin problems. I had a lot of sickness problems. I, I was having panic attacks like every week. It was just bad. I was miserable and slowly killing myself, I suppose. Um, it was just as bad as my years where I barely ate anything, so there we go. Issueness. Now I don't have quite so many issues, but I don't know. I should really count my blessings, but at the same time I'm frustrated and I'm sure many people out there can um, relate to that. Especially when you have a large amount of weight to lose. When I started, I had 141 pounds to lose. Now I've lowered my, um, my desired goal to 110 pounds. And I will state this again so that people do not freak out. I am barely 5 feet tall. So that is well within the range that I need to be. So anyway... Now I have 82 pounds to lose. Fun times. And I will be approaching my halfway mark at 73 pounds lost. And I've currently lost 64 pounds. So there is that. Something that I want to talk about, which was a really cool uh, personal accomplishment last night. I ran for 30 minutes straight at my track. It's about a mile and a half away from my house, and I go there by bike, and then I run. And did it for 30 minutes straight, then walked for 20, and went home. But um, it was funny because I felt like I could go on for another five minutes. So that was really cool. I, I never would have dreamed that I could run for 30 minutes straight when I started in March, I think it was. And um, in March, I cannot run for 30 minutes, uh, 30 seconds. I couldn't run for 30 seconds. So I've come a long way and I'm going to continue to um, make personal accomplishments. So that's, I, I should be really proud of myself for that. And um, I'm rambling a lot, so I'm sorry, but yeah. So I'm really proud of that. And I hope to get to 35 this week, if not 40. I don't want to push myself too much, but I do want to push myself. Anyway, uh, I think that is all I shall talk about. So, everyone have a good week, and peace. See you later, alligator. <laughs>